two weeks ago, a Rolling Stone article with this headline got worldwide attention, a rape on campus. It was about the rape of a University of Virginia student who was identified only by the name Jackie. Well, today, Rolling Stone magazine backed off the story. In a letter to readers, the managing editor wrote, quote, there now appear to be discrepancies in Jackie's account, and we have come to the conclusion that our trust in her was misplaced, close quote. Well, it's a stunning turn in a story that had the country talking. And I'm back now with our roundtable, Jonathan Mercedes and David. Jonathan, you're, you're an editor. You write opinion piece. You deal with the editing process. You do all that. What went wrong here? I mean, not discrepancies is too euphemistic. Yeah. Facts were wrong. The, the date of the accused of the alleged rape, which is a, almost a capital crime, mm -hmm. used to be one, uh, is wrong. There is the, the fact that these two people work together is wrong. The fact that a person who was accused of this uh, act of felony act didn't work at the place they said he did. Yeah, the, I mean, if I had written <clears throat> that story and handed it to our extremely capable people on the Washington Post editorial opinion page copy desk, it would never have run. They would have asked me after they had done their own hunt reporting, so what was the date of this? You don't have it in the story. Did the guy really, did they work together? Did you even talk to the people Jackie is accusing? You haven't done any of those and things? And if you had no. said we had a ground rule that we wouldn't go to them, what would they say? They would say, are you out of your mind? <laughs> you, can't, you can't do that, one, journalistically, or two, put the paper in a position So of why is a, a highly credible thing? magazine like Rolling Stone, which is yeah. a highly credible journalistic piece there, that you have people like Grider working for them, Bill Grider, what happened? You know, I've been talking with my staff today. We are completely mystified. At Mother Jones, like at a lot of magazines, we have a really severe fact-checking department and severe fact checkers who we often we don't like what they put yeah, us It's like through. going to the cops. You know, it's really not a lot of fun. And how this got through, um, now the sad thing is it's really an important issue, right? What goes on, cam on campus is <coughs> sexual assault. And the fact that they felt they had a lead with this horrific story, it wasn't like a usual one, on one person rape, but it was a gang rape. And there was obviously a lot of dramatic value there, but they sacrificed so much journalistic integrity by not going through the steps, by letting them, letting the reporter cut a very odd deal mm -hmm. with, the, with the subject about not going to the accused, even if you're not going to name them, but at least hearing their side. This goes down in the annals of Stephen Glass at the New Republic, Janet Cook at the Washington Post. You know, I'm not sure this is, you know, it's not the reporter making things up, but it is such a Jason upsetting, Blair Jason York Blair, Times. the New York Times. Jason Blair. You know, Let me ask you about the damages. First of all, I never was in a fraternity, but I always envied guys who were. <laughs> I, guess I, saw Animal, I guess I saw Animal House a hundred times, but uh, I know there's a lack of discipline. It's pretty free fall. What do you do there? But this, is, this has been so seriously taken by the University of Virginia people that about, they basically shut down fraternity life, at least. Oh, absolutely. And the president spoke... Uh, spoke about the issue and and you know they and they were doing she investigations yeah. as well she spoke about the issue so yes it gives fraternity you know it also does that whole like gives fraternity the bad bad rap which it may be in some cases it, that could be the case but in their case they said look we don't do hazing this did not happen and the mere fact that the Rolling Stones and this particular author went out and just said, I'm not going to talk to the attacker. This, that, to me, just yeah. blew my mind. It's like, how can you not go and just ask well, the We know the argument questions? that was made, obviously. Well, I don't want to don't address the guy. I don't want to face I'd, him. Right, but yeah. she's not facing him. The reporter's facing him. The reporter him. has a different she obligation has an obli exactly. than the accuser exactly. or an investigator or anything else. And, you know... When you read the story, I mean, it's easy to say this in hindsight. A lot of us read the story and said, wow, this is really That's weird and odd in a lot of ways. And why isn't there sort of more proof if something like this happened? Why don't they press the administration at UVA to, to say whether or not it did happen because she claims she went okay. and talked to them? So there were a lot of things they okay, could have done. Okay, let's go to the real criticism here. It's cultural. You know, when I heard about the Duke case with the African-American woman who was brought in as a stripper, which you could certainly question morally right up front and socially, yeah. why are we doing that in America today? A bunch of white guys with a black woman taking her clothes off for entertainment. Yeah. Uh, but then the accusation of rape there. 
And then everybody said, well, that sounds about right. These guys are schmucks. You know, this makes sense. The attitude that they're, they're yeah. so, uh, entitled rich kids to go to that, that school yeah. at the Duke. And it turns out they were and this is another charge. Right. Yes. Right. So is this like is this going to be seen as an echo of that? Well, what's so and what's so sad? If is, they're not I mean, innocent of charge, we have well. And what's unfortunate is like with David's point is that sexual assault is happening in the campuses. I mean, yeah. these women, many of them get drunk, many of them what are put mean, into just a tell, situation. Tell, describe what goes. Well, on. I mean, we were just talking about one to five women um, have s reported some sort of that they've been sexually assaulted. How's or, that? What is sexual assault? Just so people well, know. Well, sexually you're assault about. could be anything from you know when it, it, if a if a man advances and she, he, she says no that it's no and and it's very well, black and rape. white in my opinion it's rape. Uh, an unwarranted an, an unwarranted act an unsolicited, yeah. oh, an unsolicited yeah. the whole category yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Had, you, uh, you weren't in a fraternity were you <laughs> no no <laughs> he's told us not and so yeah so there's this real serious issue and now we're not talking about it and if you read a lot of the the Rolling Stone article, it's not just about this one episode. They use it to illustrate the problem, and there's a lot of good reporting, a lot of good pieces and good information within okay, that article. Okay, let's, let's, uh, we're going to find something more uplifting in, I uh, hope in a so. real way here. Come back, we're coming back with a round two. Up next, a real reason America is feeling hopeful right now, the successful launch of the Orion spacecraft today, the first step to putting an American on the moon. Actually, we've been to the moon. On to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> or on to Mars or to Mars. This is Hardball, the place for politics.